Now, just as we are learning more about what happened yesterday to little Kenneth, so too is his biological father who lives in western Massachusetts. Kimberly Howard traveled to North Adams this afternoon to speak with Jason White exclusively. And Kimberly, it is just so difficult to hear and to think about what he must be going through now. Dory, as you can only imagine, he's reeling after the murder of his five-year-old son. He broke down several times during our interview, saying he's in shock and just wishes he had more time with his little boy. We struggled a little bit. For Jason White, there are a lot of regrets. Money is tight, and his relationship with his estranged wife, sour. He's been plunged into a bitter custody battle and spent the last eight months away from three of his five children. If I could have had them all here, I would. But in my heart, I knew I could only provide for two. Now there's one he'll never see again. He was my little Spidey man. I did too. He loved Spidey man. Five-year-old Kenneth White also loved his siblings, especially his twin sister. His dad says they shared a magical bond. He'll be missed. And... He's with Grandpa now, you know, and we named him after him. Um, he's, he's one of the sweetest kids you'll ever meet in your life. And his death, police say, was brutal with an attempted cover-up. Investigators say Kenneth's 19-year-old cousin, Tiffany Van Alstyne, crafted a tale that two men in ski masks kidnapped the boy, wearing all black. Everything was just black, 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 and unfortunately, Maybe that's the last thing my son saw was all black. But Jason is trying to find the light for Kenneth's older siblings. They miss him dearly, too. And the two others he's fighting to get back. I gotta fight for Kenneth. Jason did not have much of anything to say about Tiffany Van Alstyne. He says he's just focusing on getting through the next few days. He tells me several organizations have reached out to help with funeral costs, and he's in the process of trying to get together money for a bigger apartment, something he hopes will help convince a judge to grant him custody of all of his children. He has a custody hearing Tuesday and says all he wants for Christmas is for all of them to be under one roof. Of course, we know one of those children won't be there. Sorry.